हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एक्सियोमेटिकॉस दिस वीडियो इज द पार्ट ऑफ द सोल्यूशन सीरीज फॉर आई आई टी जैम टू थाउजेंड इलेवन सो वी आर हेयर विद दिस प्रॉब्लम फोर ऑफ योर पेपर दिस इज अ इंटीग्रल कैलकुलस प्रॉब्लम सो लेट एस है लुक ओके सो वॉट वी हैव लेट वी बी द रीजन बाउंडेड बाई दिस प्लेन x is equal to zero, x is equal to two, y is equal to zero, z is equal to zero, y plus z is equal to one. So these are your planes, and the v is a v is a v is a volume which is bounded by these planes. Then the value of the integral. So you have to find out the value for this integral. Okay. So let us represent this integral as capital V. Okay. So it's this integral is like this right now what is your task you have to integrate this function y okay over this volume which is given to you so x is equal to 0 x is equal to 2 y is equal to 0 so these are the planes that you have to firstly draw okay so firstly what i will do i am just drawing those planes for you so what you have you have x is varying between 0 to x is equal to 2 y is from 0 to and z is from 0 to y plus z is equal to 1 okay so this is the this, these are the planes that is given to you so now let me draw a three dimensional system okay so let us say this is your three dimensional system okay so just mark this okay okay now see what you have you have your limits of x a constant number so what i am doing i am representing this axis as x axis this axis as z axis and this axis as y axis okay so these are actually the positive axis these are only the positive axis i am talking are you getting my point or not so negative z axis is over here negative x axis is over here and negative y axis is over here that means this octant that we have is actually a positive octant okay in which x y and z are greater than 0 now it is given to you that x is from 0 y is from 0 and z is from 0 that means you have to only work in this octant only okay in the positive octant you have to work now on a two dimensional system if you will try to uh, represent this line then you will end up with this figure what figure uh, let me draw it for you so in a two dimensional system you will end up with this figure uh, that let us say this is your z axis this is your y axis then this will be your figure but on a three dimensional system this is not any more a line it's a plane so a vertical plane over this line so now let me draw this line over here so let us suppose this is your line okay just erase this thing let us suppose this is your line y plus z is equal to 1 are you getting my point so this will go beyond after this also but we we have to talk only on the first octant so this is your line y plus uh, z is equal to 1 but now it's in three dimensional system so it's not a line it's a plane so we have to draw a plane for this okay so it will look like this okay so i'm just drawing the plane okay i have drawn below the ax below the axis also but it's only above above this yz plane okay this part is not included in your question so only this part is included okay now what is another thing that you uh, you are given with this x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 2 what is x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 is actually yz plane that means this floor that you have this floor is actually 
your x is equal to 0. Now x is moving from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 2. So what is the meaning of this? It has a simple meaning that you have to draw your you have to draw your line like this. Okay. Now in three dimensional system, this is not a line. It's a plane. So you have to make this figure a little bit like a plane thing. Are you getting my point or not? So these two planes are intersecting over here. Okay. Are you getting my point or not? So now let us make the grid for this. Okay, so this is how it looks. Okay, so what is happening here? This plane, okay, y plus z is equal to 1. So this is your plane, y plus z is equal to 1. This plane is intersecting this plane, x is equal to 2. Okay. So what you have to do, you have to just think it like a sheet of paper. These two sheet of paper are intersecting and they are creating volume inside of them. Okay. So, okay. So now try to visualize what volume it will, uh, and, and close between it's pl these planes. Okay. So this is the volume that, that was enclosed. So this, this plane that you see here as a rectangle, is a plane y plus z is equal to 1. Now what is stopping this plane is this plane. This plane is x is equal to 2 plane. Are you getting my point or not? So this is the volume that we have, uh, we have, right? Okay, so this is v. On this volume we have to integrate. Okay, so I have done so, th uh, I have, what I have done so far is I have just tried to, I, I was just trying to visualize this thing that okay I was just trying to visualize this thing that uh, which volume this figure will increase uh, and close okay so this was the volume you can uh, visualize it from here also so now we have to integrate right so firstly what we are going to do we are going to place limits of x so x is varying from 0 to 2 so firstly i am putting its limit dy dz so when you will integrate what will happen you will get y x like this okay so now see what you are getting you are getting integral oh, sorry it's not a triple integral it's now double so you have this y dy dz now you just need to integrate this double integral over which reason over this reason that you have over here are you getting my point so now it's very easy to integrate this so now let me erase uh, now let me erase this these figures that i was drawing so see on this region we have to integrate now this this is a 2d integral so what we will do we will firstly apply the limits of y. y is moving from what? y this is y is equal to 0, right? This is y is equal to 0. And here y is 1 minus z. So 0 to 1 minus z. Now uh, z is moving from z is equal to 0 to this point. What is this point? This point is 1, 0 comma 1, I say. So it's from 0 to 1. So after integrating, what you will get, you will get 2 times of 0 to 1, 1 minus z whole square over 2, right? So now this is dz. So if you will integrate this thing, it will be very easy for you to integrate, okay? It's a single integral. So finally, after integrating this, you will get 1 over 3, okay? So I'm just writing it directly. So from here, what I have concluded that this D option is incorrect, C is incorrect, B is incorrect, and A is incorrect. Okay, I hope you understand what is the point of making this video. The point is very simple that you try to learn how to make 3D figures. Okay, once you make 3D figures, then it will be very easy for you to draw, uh, sorry, sorry to, to, uh, to write these limits. Okay, limit of the integral. So thank you.